Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307 here. And it's morning for me, but it's almost nighttime for most of you. I got my new phone, so yay, good for that. Insurance was fully worth it, so I've got it. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating for breakfast, but I wanted to show you guys some other fun stuff too. So let me go ahead and get I you haven't shown right. you guys these little chunky monkeys in quite some time. I just fed them. Here are the puppies. Here they are. And the puppy that we're keeping is over there in the box. His name is Loki. He is a party male. And then, of course, there's the little party female over here. They're all so sweet. They're little fluff balls. And so I just cleaned up their kennel area and wiped everything down with bleach water. And I've got all of their bedding in the washer. Sorry, there's a collar hanging right there. I got all their bedding in the washer. So they have just got a bed. And in their box, they just have one little blanket. But we've got to get their bedding all cleaned up because they drag it out and make messes and of course they're already making messes they like to dig holes through these tablecloths so that is just wonderful but you can see our little loki if you look at him compared to his sisters much smaller and then here is athena and zeus so they are on the outside all of the puppies are doing well they are just about eight weeks now i think they are eight weeks so we've got a couple more weeks with the three girls and then the girls will be going to their home they have had all of their vet checkups and everything but they are so sweet and so fun but oh my goodness are they a handful oh and then you can see one of our kitties back there too and he is a Maine Coon, and he does not like the dogs. You'd think he would be used to them because they've been here since he's been here. Hey, stop it. <laughs> Hercules, stop. So here are the baby puppies. Let's see if we can get him to come over here. Come here, puppies. Oh, there's one. They like chewing on my fingers. They like biting everything. They like chewing everything up. Everything. So look at those sweet little faces. So fun. And there's our Loki boy over there. And Athena's face is right in the way because she thinks she has to be the center of attention because you guys know how that is. Uh-oh. Are you stuck to your collar? He was stuck to his collar. <laughs> Their little claws are sharp, you guys. I mean, they're digging through these tablecloths, no problems whatsoever. Look at that little face. Isn't it sweet? Isn't it sweet? A riff! 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 <laughs> A riff! All right, guys, let me show you what I made for my breakfast. Let me get up. So these are the collars that I bought for them at first, just so you guys know. They are way too tiny. Those are small, so they're an extra small collars. So here are all the babies. Very sweet, very playful, lots of toys. I need to get them some new chewy bones um, that I've got for their little teefers. I'm going to get that done. But let's take you into the kitchen and show you really quick what I'm going to have for my breakfast. Ooh, my floor looked a little dirty. I am headed to work tonight, so I'm going to eat my breakfast now, and it is almost 5 p.m. So I have got some peanut butter overnight oats here. Delicious. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of the unsweetened vanilla almond milk into it. I like it a little bit thinner. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some of the Lily's semi-sweet style baking chips. I love the Lily's. The semi-sweet is not my favorite. The milk chocolate is my favorite. I cannot get these locally, so I can only get them when I go out of town. And so when the last time that I bought them, they didn't have the milk chocolate, so I bought a whole bunch of the semi-sweet, so I'm stuck with those. One of my friends, Crystal, from What Was Mommy Thinking, found the mint ones, and I'm so jealous. Because if you look online to order these, it's ridiculous. Like, I think the mint ones were like $20 a package, and there's no way I'm doing that. So I'll go ahead and add that. I will include the recipe as well as the points here. And then I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye for now. Okay, everyone. Here I am with what I'm going to pack for lunch. 
And I do have to be 100% honest and transparent with you guys. With not having my phone for the past four days, I use that as an excuse to eat more than I should have because I couldn't track it. I couldn't scan stuff, so I didn't know what they what it was. And so I don't know what the scale is going to say tomorrow. Um, I made some bad choices, like I said, being 100% honest. I have got my phone back today. I'm super excited. I've got all of my food scanned in for the day and I am under my points. But let me tell you guys what I'm making. Yesterday I made this same thing and it was so good I have to make it again. Now for those of you guys that watched my grocery haul, you know I picked up some of this Hormel chili turkey with beans. I do want to let you know that it is higher in points than the other turkey chili that I got. Um, it is four points on the blue plan um, for one serving, which is half a can, one cup. I just took the chili and I divided it between two containers. And then I used my Pampered Chef scale to just weigh it out. And I just did half and half because you guys know it says like a cup. And if you actually measure out a cup, it never works out how it is. Just so you guys know, absolutely love my Pampered Chef scale. If you guys are looking for a new kitchen scale or anything, I do have my website down below. So take a look if you're interested. Then I'm gonna scramble up two eggs. Um, yesterday I tried to make an omelet, but since I really wasn't using any fat in the pan, it didn't work out so well. So I'm gonna scramble two eggs. I'm gonna to top them with chili. I'm gonna put a slice of Velveeta on top. And then I'm gonna put some of the Greek yogurt. And then I did ketchup on mine yesterday. So I went ahead and charged myself a point for ketchup. Then I cut up an orange and that's going to be my lunch. Just so you know, first impressions of the Greek gods yogurt. For those of you guys that have been watching my videos, you know that I normally get the Faye Greek yogurt, the 0% non-fat Greek yogurt. And so if I remember correctly, this one was four something, the Faye is seven something. I can tell you there's a huge difference already. When I opened it, when I scooped it out, big difference in the texture. Um, we shall see. Of course, I'm not gonna let this go to waste, so I'm going to eat it. Um, we'll see how it does for a sour cream substitute. And then I will go ahead and add my Mio into it as well. I will let you guys know my honest opinion because as we know, sometimes we get what we pay for. So for me, if I like the Faye better, I'm going back to the $7 yogurt. And then I've got four sodas here. Just so you guys know, I'm not drinking them all. I'm sharing them with my sister-in-law, at least one of them. And one may stay in our work fridge for the next time I work. Then my second meal at work, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. As you guys know, I bought some of the light and fit yogurts as well. And so I need to get these eaten up before they go bad. So this one's a blueberry one. This is two points. And then I've got some kiwis. Super excited for my kiwis. And I want to show you guys actually how I cut these up to make life simpler. Then I am either going to do one or two rice cakes depending on how hungry I am. One of these rice cakes is one point on the blue plan. But it is three points for two of them. So we'll see. And I'm going to go ahead and do half an avocado. My son is doing tacos tonight. So I'm going to cut this avocado in half. He's going to have half. I'm going to have half. So let me get you guys set up on the tripod. And I'll show you what I do for my kiwi really quick. It's something that makes kiwi so much easier for me. I know some people just cut them in half, eat them right out of the skin. But this is the way I like to do it. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I want to show you really quickly what I'm going to do with my kiwi. Now, I am using some Pampered Chef products. I don't know about other products on the market, if they'll work or not. Of course, if you've got something, give it a try. See if it will work. No need to buy new stuff if you don't need it. So, first of all, and I believe the secret is this serrated peeler. So, you can see that it is a peeler that is actually serrated, so it works wonderful. And then, when I do this, I keep the top and the bottom on. Just so you guys know, let's see, where's my camera? There's my camera. I keep the top and the bottom on. And so I just hold it like this. And as you can see, I can just peel it super, super easy. And so I'm just going to go through and peel this. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm staying on camera. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I can tell you this, having my phone back working is a blessing. Um, you know, I'm so thankful that due to my budgeting, I was able to just use my checking account cushion to pay the insurance to get my phone replaced. So amazing. It is an unbudgeted expense, but I had the money for it. And of course it was an accident. I most certainly didn't throw my phone on the floor on purpose. All right. So now I've got it peeled and then I'm going to go ahead and cut the ends of it off. 
So I've got that. Then I've got my Pamper Chef egg slicer. Just so you guys know, these wires are replaceable. You can pop them out and get replacements for it. I'm just gonna take my kiwi like that, put it into my egg slicer, and voila. I have got nice slices of kiwi. I'm just gonna put those into my dish. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do another one so that you guys can see that it is as easy as it is. And we will go from there. So like I was telling you guys, not having my phone, I was eating stuff I shouldn't have been and using it as an excuse. But now I'm back on track and back to real life. And if you guys hear anything, my son just walked in from work. So he's probably going to be getting something ready for his dinner. I'm gonna cut that piece of the kiwi out because I don't know what is up with that. So let me cut that little chunk out. It looked kind of weird. And then I'm gonna cut the ends off just like before. I've got my egg slicer and then I'm just gonna take that and go just like that. And so that is the kiwi that I will be taking with me to work. All right, guys, I will take pictures at work and I will talk to you guys soon. So this was my lunch, chili cheese eggs, absolutely delicious. I will tell you guys the yogurt was not the same. Back to Faye for this girl once I've eaten this yogurt. Then we jump into my dinner. I did the two rice cakes with uh, avocado on top, salt and pepper, and it was absolutely delicious. The kiwi and the blueberry yogurt just were a great sweet addition to it. So here are my points for the day. You could see breakfast was five, lunch was six, and dinner was 10. So I didn't use all of my points. Now the scale, that's right, 0.2 pound gain. Not bad, especially considering how far off track I was without having my phone. All right guys, you guys have an amazing day. Bye.